Hi, my name is Amy Iskanda. Now, uh, okay, the second video of the night okay, will be about Kumui Kobayashi, the former uh, F1 driver. Okay, from 20 from 09 to 2012 and in 2015 so he raced with Williams right if I'm not mistaken Toyota Sauber and Caterham 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 was actually owned by a certain Tony Fernandez the CEO of uh, Sorry, the chairman of Air Asia, and we call him Tan Sri Tony Fernandez. So, back to my objective. Okay, as you guys know, he he is competing in the WEC, okay, and Super Formula. Oh, if he's going to compete in Formula E for the Andretti Motorsports under the Monaco license, racing license. Okay. He w he actually won the G the GP2 Asian series and competed in GP2 series, but he did not win the GP2 series. The GP2 series is a global series. The GP2 Asian series concentrates only in Asia. So yeah. Okay, he was born in Amagara Amagasaki near Kobe. His father owns a sushi restaurant. Okay. Yes, he started his cutting. Okay. At the age of nine, he he entered the uh, SL Katara Katara Zuka tournament cadet class. During the following seven years, Kobayashi took four cutting titles. Wow! To enter. Uh, the SL All Japan Tournament Cadet Class Series twice with Toyota. Wow! Ooh. Okay, he has a dual nationality. Yeah. Uh, a Japanese citizenship and a Monaco. 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 Citizenship, yeah, that means he is a resident of Mon uh, of Monaco. No. Uh, he signed up for the Toyota Academy driver and soon began his career in open wheel racing. His first step into uh, Formula Renault, entering Asian, German, Italian, and Dutch championship, taking race. Victories in Italian, the Italian Championship. Kobayashi continued in Formula Renault class, entering the Italian and European Championship with six wins and in both championships, and he won both titles. Wow, this guy is absolutely amazing. Sadly, uh, he picked the wrong team. So yeah. In 06, Kobayashi she entered Formula 3 Euro Series with a ASM Formula 3 alongside Paul the Resta, Guillaume Van der Gaard, and Sebastian Vettel. Uh, Guillaume Van der Gaard is um, the Dutch driver. If I am absolutely spot on. Yeah. So, yeah. He took three podiums in his debut season coming in is in the driver's title uh, and 
the first rookie champion #kobayashi# also entered the macau grand prix and and the mas~ formula three masters which annually (err) which which are annual formula three events #kobayashi# and started in tenth place and finish the race a place lower in eleventh while in the 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 macau grand prix he started on pole position and finish nineteenth !ouch! okay (um) okay he was actually n~ named bes~ be~ in O seven #kobayashi# with his japanese compatriot #kohei hira~ hirate# was named as the (uh) toyota 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 formula team test drivers and stayed in the euro series for the upcoming season and had impressive an impressive start taking two podiums in the first four rounds in one and a tenth in magnico !ouch! for the french formula one grand prix formula three sport race #kobayashi# took his first race victory in formula three and finished fourth in the championship series he entered the gp2 series in 08 the asian series okay he won the championship only race the second race of the season after a strong start from pole position in the spring race in Catalonia Kobayashi she took the jacket flag in first place this was after a controversial piece of defensive driving from former uh, Euro series teammate Romy Grosjean after a safety car period at the end of the pit street Kobayashi attempted to pass Grosjean however the Frenchman moved more than once and defended his position forcing Kobayashi to get into a receive action uh, resulted in a drive through penalty handing the win to Kobayashi however he only finished with the point on one for the occasion restricting him to a 16th place finish in the championship the other successful another successful GP2 campaign followed over the winter months of 08 and 09 Kobayashi winning races and route to the championship while in the spare uh, with a spare round eh, with a, a round to spare sorry Kobayashi could re- could not repeat his form in the main series finishing 7th 16th again okay he was announced to replace departing f- Frank Montagni as Toyota's third driver test and races driver during the 08 and 09 season competed in the jet uh, in FP1 for the Japanese Grand Prix in 09 in place of Glock okay Toyota asked the FIA for permission to run Kobayashi in the race, but it was it, it was refused as the regulation said the driver must run at least one session on Saturday to be eligible. Kobayashi made his debut in the Onan Brazilian Grand Prix following the competition, the complication to Block's injury. Glock's injury, not Glock. Glock's injury that was not internally detected. He qualified 11 in a chaotic session that lasted over two and a half hours and 
past rate affected thanks due to incidents caused by torrential rain earlier in the arrays while running in six days he held off several laps challenged by jenson button who needed to finish the title he finished the race in tenth place and was later promoted to ninth man heikki kovalainen was this uh was strapped with a penalty okay button juggling described kobayashi as an absolutely crazy very aggressive he also competed in the 09 abu dhabi grand prix as a as glock's injury was not healed efficiently for that race he qualified in 12th place finished in 6th scoring his first championship point in in f1 in the un, in the inaugural day and night race in abu dhabi okay before he decided to withdraw from the f1 championship kubashi expected to be given full uh given a full seat at toyota for the 2010 season okay. but toyota's withdrawal cause uh kobayashi to scramble for to find a new team okay was mentioned in the list probably probable probable drivers for the series new teams for 2010 after weeks of speculation peter Peter Sauber recover. He would drive for Peter Sauber. Peter Sauber's recovered team Sauber as after BMW Sauber had withdrawn from the 2010 championship. His teammate was former test driver Pedro Della Rosa. Kobayashi competed his first lap in the new Sauber C29 Charity Chassis for during winter testing on the 2nd of February in 2010. Okay, he had a front wing failure that caused him to hit the barrier, rebounding off, causing a three car crash, taking out. Boemi, Hulkenberg, and uh, taking out the other two drivers. Okay. Well, he qualified in ninth for the Malaysian Grand Prix. He got an engine failure in China. He was involved with another three way collision. Now with Boemi and Valenti Valen Valen Tiano Tino Liu Si he, he making him the first driver to retire from all four races of the season. In the key he won his first points for of the season coming home in 10th bring being promoted after the tough collision with team at Weber Petrov's puncture and Petrov's puncture Valencia he finished 7th by passing Nonso and Buemi on the final laps on fresh tires after driving a majority the race in the base position for on his first set of tires, he got sixth place in Silverstone, eleventh in Germany, ninth in Hungary, eighth in Belgium. Okay, uh, suffered a gearbox failure and retired from the Grand Prix. After hitting the 
hitting a track side barrier Kobayashi steamed change in Singapore as federal was removed in favour of the Kai Fed okay in Japan Kobayashi qualified for team finished seven passing several drivers along the way including a very impressive fashion finish is in Korea Korea and 10th in Brazil the review of the season from former TV commentator Murray Walker stated that Kobayashi without a doubt is Japanese best F1 driver yet Kobayashi gained a reputation during the season as a highly skilled overtaker being able to outbreak drivers several cars length in front of him his aggressive overtaking style was described as by Martin Bender as he gets to the normal breaking point and then goes <laughs> Ah, now which one of which now which one is the break again that's right it's on the left and he just shares the bus people <laughs> ah, oh, from a person that you to race against the, the likes of Schumacher, the likes of Hill, the likes of uh, Senna, the likes of Jack Wilder and etc. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he was, he remained with the team in 2011. He, he, ah, oh, he, his teammate was former GP2 graduate Chaiko okay uh, he finished it in the championship uh, yeah I'm, so, I'm sorry he oh but he and Paris sorry he finished it in the Australian Grand Prix but he got disqualified for rearing irregularities okay uh, in Asia another strong showing of Kobayashi finishing this in the race eventually classified 7 to receive receive a penalty he finished 10 in his next 3 races before a very high fifth and didn't pack Monaco Grand Prix extremely leeway Kenny Le Grand Prix wow he, he got second he, he started 13th and he got in the second not decided to change the extreme sweat before the race was straight packed as many other drivers had this essentially gave him a free pit stop while the race was suspended after the restart the track began to dry out and the changing intermediate tires finally and finally six where she dropped several places in the game, having a spin lapping a back marker and being they ended by uh, Nick Heifel eventually he finished 7 uh, 0.05 second 5 se 0.05 seconds behind Masa was him on the final straight he, he stayed with Sauber in in 2012 with Perez okay. he retired in Malaysia he got a 6 in Australia he 
started third behind the two Mercedes of Rosberg and Schumacher. Rosberg won his first race in China that year, yeah. but he dropped to 10 and managed to set fast slap at this. Uh, that's the Chinese Grand Prix. At the at the uh, Spanish Grand Prix, he finished fifth after overtaking the Sebastian Nicolas Berg. Kobayashi finished in the points once again in the next four races, finishing in ninth in, in Tinata. Uh, Kobayashi finished a career best fourth place in Germany. Okay. Uh, he retired in Hungary. He, he got his best qualifying up to date in second place in the Belgium Grand Prix in 2012, but was taken out in the first lap incident. His home Grand Prix in Japan, he became the first driver in 22 years after Aguri Suzuki in the Jap Japanese Grand Prix in 1990 to be on the podium. Okay. He's only the third Japanese driver to be on the podium after Suzuki and Kumwa Kumwa Takuma Masato eh, Takuma Sato okay. Sato got his uh, podium finish in 04 He was replaced by Halkamag and Esteban Gutierrez. Esteban Gutierrez. Okay. But he was placed as a reserve driver. Ultimately, he finished 12th in the driver's championship with 60 points despite having 8 million. Eight million euros in sponsorship for Bayashi that could focus on gaining competitive rank for 2014 season. Then he joined. Then he joined. Oh sorry. Then he joined the World Endurance Championship in 2013. Okay. With the LM GTE Pro Class, driving the 458 GT. In the Le Mans 24 hours. He scored a fifth place finish with the Corsa team, uh, GTE team, okay, with Olivier Brata and Tony Valenda, their Ferrari. For 5.8 GT covered a total of 312 laps at the Skid Sk Sk de la Sa Sarthe. Okay, if I pronounce it correctly. So, yes. Uh, there were several incidents and a record of 12 safety car periods. Oh. He returned with Caterham in 2014 with Swedish driver Marcus Eriksson. Spec speculations about his team's all new lineup for the new season. At the first race in the Australian Grand Prix, crash into Massa at the start due to a brake failure. However, in the Malaysian Grand Prix, he's running as high as 8th ahead of his teammate and Mercedes, uh, the Marussias, and several other cars. However, he finished the The race intent promoting Caterham to 10th place in the Constructors Championship. 
However, later in the season, Kittahem demoted to 11th due to Jules Bianchi's achieving a merciless first points finish. Okay. Uh, under German driver Andre Lotter pre- replaced Kobayashi. Oh, Andrea Latara. You should drive for Kaitahem. Okay, I did not know that. Okay. Uh, after Latara declined a further offer due to the seat being taken in practice by Roberto Mary, who was attempting to qualify for 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 the FIA Super License. Kobayashi declared himself. And the uh, unhappy situation with the team's driver's plans changing at a short notice, and the and his future was uncertain. So Kobayashi joined the Le Mans the Le Mans uh, team in. For the, the team Le Mans in the Super Super Formula season, he finished fifth place in the drivers' championship. Okay, in 2017, he moved to C K M C G at the start of the year. He returned to endurance racing with the Kazu Racing. I think it is a Japanese team. He got his first victory in the Fuji race, okay. beating the Porsche uh, and Audi drivers eventually. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Outstanding achievement award at the Asian uh, Awards in London. Wow. Okay. Uh, his racing record. He had a couple of 12 place finishes in his F1 career. Uh, in the championship standings in his F1 career. He won the GP2 series. The Asian one in the Asian series. He wasn't lucky for the. Oh, that's my other phone. Sorry. He wasn't lucky for the other. For the Global GP2 series. In 08, he actually. In 09, sorry, he actually finished 16th. Okay, for the Toyota, he finished 18th with 3 points. For BMW Sauber. He, got, he finished 12 with 32 points uh, with the Sauber F1 team. He finished 30, 30 points in 12. And the following year, he batted that. Okay. But still in, in the same finishing position. So in 2013, he, he finished 5th place in Le Mans. Okay. Seven, seven place in the driver championship for the endurance, uh, for the world endurance championship. Then he rejoined Cottenham by finishing. Uh, he scored no points, finishing in twenty second place. Is a drivers championship position. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the for 2015, he actually f- finished fifth in the drivers' championship. In, in 2016, he finished third in the FIA in re- endurance championship. Uh, he got a second place finish in Le Mans. He got a 17th place finish in the championship for uh, in the Super Formula. Okay, he got in 2017. He finished fifth in the drivers championship with three hundred, uh, with one hundred and three and a half points. 
you got a uh, DNF in Le Mans okay that is not a championship uh, Le Mans is not a championship series it's just a series like the Malaysian Festival of Speed there's no championship points collection so in the Super Formula in 2017 he actually got 16 and a half points okay in the long pion gt series endurance cup okay in 2017 he did not participate he did not compete uh in the intercontinental gt challenge he did not compete in the super gt challenge he was stunned in the championship uh, he, he had 10 championship points, sorry A uh, 17th place finish In Formula E With the Andretti Formula E team He got 24th place okay. I did not know he was in Hope Formula E until today okay. uh, 2018 in the Super GT He got 27 points finishing 3rd uh, 13th in the championship Super Formula he finished 10 with 11 points the more than 4 hours he finished in second place okay uh, the world endurance championship this season is still in progress uh, yeah he is currently second in the uh, world endurance championship so that's all for tonight uh yeah tomorrow night there will be another two right yeah Sorry, my video update is a bit late. I almost forgot about it, but yeah, lucky I didn't forget. So, yep, uh, it should be two night. So yeah, uh, two night. <laughs> but I, as you guys know, I almost forgot it. So yeah, I was. Uh, scampering over my TV channels just now, so that's why I forgot forgot all about the video. Yeah, so ah yeah, since uh tomorrow is Christmas, I would like to wish all all the people that is celebrating Christmas. Merry Christmas and uh, enjoy my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my ch YouTube channel Okay, sorry uh, That's my uh, cupboard, sorry Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Zaymi's channel and please get your f uh, fingernails uh, a bit stretchy and press the notification bell below and just comment on the video down below and good night